and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our mind, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express indeed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. There is no other name by which we must be saved. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, as Peter and John were speaking to the people, after the lame man was healed, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of the men came to about 5,000. On the next day, their rulers and elders and scribes were gathered together in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. And they and when they had set them in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? 
Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a cripple, by what means this man has been healed, be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you all. This man is standing before you well. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, but which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. O oh Lord, grant salvation. O oh Lord, grant success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Gospel acclamation. has made, let us rejoice in it and be glad. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the son of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach. Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, 
Have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they casted it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quality of fish. Then the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went abroad and hauled the net ashore full of large fish a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although they were not, they were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. Now, none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them. And so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> God is good and all the time we just celebrated uh, the passion the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and this is the climax of our salvation but if he just died on the cross many would still be unbelievers but because he resurrected and he appeared to the disciples, uh, that witness has been handed over even to our generation. And that is why the disciples of Jesus in the gospel, they, even, they had even decided to go back to their normal or their previous way of life. They were fishermen. Therefore, they had waited, or they, are, they were like uh, their new career was done. They have nothing else or the foundation to carry on uh, their ministry that was given to Jesus because he was already dead. But appearing to them gave them not only the courage to go out and preach, but also the conviction of what they had seen, of what they heard from him when he was still alive and what, what he was teaching. And now they even had the courage to go out and announce it without fear. If you remember well, at Mount Olive, when the, the soldiers came, all the disciples fled away. But now they are more courageous that what the person they, who was killed is now alive and is appearing to them, giving them even the courage to face the, those who, who persecuted Christ. And that is what we have heard in the first reading. The, fa the same courage which Jesus had, even when he was able to respond to those, his accusers, and even the high priests, is the same courage that the disciples now have because they have seen the, res the resurrected Christ 
for us, my dear brothers and sisters, we have that belief, we have that conviction that we are following the risen Christ. And if we have that conviction today, our reading are inviting us to have that courage to go out and continue announcing the same message to other people, to go out and even condemn or to face those who are against the same message of resurrection, just the same way Peter, with the assistance of the Holy Spirit, is able even to respond and to answer those high level officers who had called them. And the same words that Jesus used, of which we, are you calling us? Are you persecuting us? Are you judging us because of a good thing we have done? So even us as Christians, let us never be afraid when we go out and do that what is good, because that good is the one that will defend us. That good is the answer that we will give to everyone we will meet, that I am living, I am doing this because I'm convinced is a good, and it is for the good not only of myself, but the good of all. May we go out, therefore, with the same courage, also converting many, or have, making many believe in the same resurrection. He is our God, he is our savior, he has saved our life. May we also go out and participate in saving the life of others. The stone that was rejected became the cornerstone. Maybe many people have rejected you the same way they rejected Christ. Maybe they are not convinced of your message, but that what is rejected, it will become the cornerstone of your life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Number Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord our God for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Perfect within us, O oh Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by this Paschal offering that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. But on this day, in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Pulse, Pulse, Passover has been sacrificed. He is the true Lamb 
who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. And so overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. This is the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, our patron saint, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip Agnolo, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here before you today. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Christ, 
taught us to call God our Father. Now, with courage, let us call him our Father. The Lord be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on other citizens. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to this banquet and they will receive it. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord, in blood of Christ, bring us to life of Christ. Stemas fecialis, panis vivus et vitalis, honie propitiae. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray. Those who you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Father. Exit is number 724, 724, part 6. <laughs>